I've lived in Longyearbyen, the world's most northerly town, since 2005. I came here to do my studies and to observe the characteristics of the Arctic ice. I'm attached to the University of Svalbard, which is famous for Arctic and polar research, as well as research into climate change. I'm doing my fieldwork at Svea, 60 kilometers southeast of Longyearbyen. We start preparing for our fieldwork months ahead, when we put together the equipment we need. Before departing on our mission, we're briefed about weather conditions and avalanche risks on the glaciers and the Arctic ice. We always have to take a rifle. Since there are polar bears on the island, we have to be able to protect ourselves at all times. A trip of this kind can take two to six hours. We always know the time of departure, but never when we'll arrive. When I'm there, I use different instruments to measure various characteristics of the Arctic ice, such as temperature and internal forces. I measure the thickness and density of the snow and collect water samples from the ice surface. And of course, I also pay a lot of attention to the ice thickness. I can't tell whether it's due to climate change, but I've observed that the ice currently has a thickness of 60 centimeters here, which is only half what it measured in previous years. When I came to this spot in mid-March, I was amazed at the huge volume of snow on the ice. The snow worries me a bit, since it stops the ice from compressing in the way it usually does, and acts like an insulator on the ice surface. When I'm not busy drilling holes into the ice, I like to spend my spare time with my four-legged friends.